we hear from the book of Acts of the Apostle, chapter 13, verse 44 onwards. When Paul and Barnabas moved with the Holy Spirit, even without them asking, the leader of the synagogue, the Jew, asked Paul to speak about the word of God. And when he spoke the word, thousands of people came to believe in the Lord. Yes, when we move with the Lord, thousands of people, God will give it to us. And that's what happened. And before they were enjoying and building up that community, suddenly the Jews from that place came up. And they started to fight with them. They contradicted them. They spoke against Paul. And they reviled him. My dear friends, whenever we move for God, when problems come on our way, we should never get stuck up with a problem. We need to look up at the Lord. And hear the voice of God. Ask the Holy Spirit to give us the gift of discernment. Many of the times, when little problems come, we get stuck up with a problem. If somebody says something against us or what we don't desire to hear, immediately we take it as a personal. Nobody is here to live for himself. We live by the Lord and for the Lord. And every action of ours is being guided by the Lord. Look at Paul and Barnabas. Immediately, they discerned. They didn't give up their minds because somebody is reviling us against us, standing against us, criticizing us, and trying to block us. And I'm going. we are going to uh, prove that we are right, you are wrong. No. Look towards the daddy. The daddy says, move on. Move on in life. You have done your work here. The work is of salvation is from God. You move on. I have another plan for you. With great joy, they said, it was necessary that the word of God should be spoken to you first. Since you didn't accept it, maybe you don't deserve unworthy of eternal life. God will take care of it. Behold, we turn to Gentiles, for so the Lord has commanded us. In their struggle, they look at the Lord and the Lord commands, you have done your duty, rest I will take care. Sometime we try to take care of our children, try to send them to the foreign countries. Things do happen, something else. Don't lose courage. You have done your best. The rest God will take care. They are not your children. They are not yours. You and I, we have come from God. We are God's. And whatever the responsibility has asked us, we have to do and move on in life. Nobody should take away the joy, the courage and the faith God has given to us. No problem on this earth. That's what in Romans 8, St. Paul said, Who can separate me from the love of Christ? Neither death, nor angels, nor any power. I live by the one who has loved me and gave his life for me. Yes. We have to be alert to the things that are happening. And we have to be alert to the Lord who moves us to move on in life. Don't get stuck up with your problem. Try to discern the planning of God and move with God and all that of God will move with you. And then they moved. They said, For the Lord has commanded us saying, I have set you to be light to the Gentiles that you may bring salvation to the uttermost parts of the earth. Yes, there are so many other people also. Enough work is done for among the Jews. Now oh, there are so many other people, the Gentiles, that are you and me. You have to know God. 
and that was the plan of god clear plan of god sometime what to be what happens in our lives may look so big to us as though people have rejected us no you can never receive rejection you are in the hands of god and you are his son you you are his daughter you are here to move with your master yes and they went and they glorified the lord and so many people started to believe and the word of the lord spread throughout all the region yes my dear friends sometimes we get stuck up with our problem our struggles today's reading says don't look at what's happening here i love this beautiful statement of ecclesiasticus chapter 11 verse 17 says god's gifts to the devout endure if god has given you something that can never be taken away by anybody it will endure his approval brings unending prosperity so all that we need to do is we need to get his approval daddy is it your will daddy can i do this daddy why these things are happening he says in verse 23 do not say what you say my people are rejecting me what good can the future hold for me oh these people are not accepting me what future will happen never think of that and verse 24 do not say i am self sufficient or sometime we are we know everything and you stupid people don't believe me don't say that in verse 25 he says hardship is forgotten in time of prosperity and prosperity in time of hardship yes sometimes the lord will ask us to go through lot of hardships that doesn't mean god has left us through from that god can bring life and prosperity and that is the way god does in our lives that's why in the book of wisdom chapter 11 verse 5 it is written you do not know from where the wind comes and from where the wind goes it comes and it makes you so happy it just moves through you refreshes you one minute it was that one minute is not that don't think god is with you be alert to your god that's why he says like the woman when she has the child how the child grows how the nose grows how the tongue grows and exactly that place you do not know god is at work in you open your eyes and see you are not merely a human being on this earth god is at work in you jesus said in that you believe in me and you will do greater things as the father is in me i am in you father is in me so we both together i listen to him i discern him what he says and i do accordingly we read in mark chapter 1 verse 35 the previous day jesus went to the house of mother in law peter and mother in law peter was healed and so many people came and jesus healed all of them became very night and everybody went to sleep they were tired early morning the holy spirit woke up jesus go and be with the father daddy wants to talk to you so jesus rose and he was kneeling and praying on the mountain now the news spread night night itself and the early morning peter's mother in law's house is full of people thousands of people now they are searching peter never thought yesterday jesus did and he is my master he is with me his spirit is in me today let me do now always 
we need help from others no the moment you recognize as the father is with jesus the same jesus is in us only then there is real deliverance for us we cannot go on depend on others peter runs to jesus searching for him and woke him up from prayer yes sometime to do help we do harm i was told one boy went and woke up his sleeping friend and said good night yes that's what happens in life jesus is praying and this man is going and shaking him jesus looked at him and asked him what happened everybody is waiting and everybody is asking for you jesus zindabad thousands of people have come jesus say sorry my father has told me i had to go to other places peter gets angry what are you talking ready made house ready made crowd thousands of people are available come come sorry my father has spoken to me he never get so excited with thousands of people or thousands of offerings going to come now because he knew his real prosperity real treasure is the daddy and the daddy is with me mm-hmm.